Energiewende, or energy transition. What does that actually mean? Trans suggests movement, but where to? And ischen indicates a process, an action resulting in change. But what sort of change exactly? Energy transition is like a marathon with hurdles. The term has stood for the sustainable transformation of the energy landscape since 1980. The starting shot coincided with Oko Institute's first study on energy transition. But where is this road taking us? The goal is clear. We need efficient environmental and climate-friendly electricity. But every vision also requires huge efforts in day-to-day -day life. It means recognizing that electricity is not simply there, it takes power plants, supply lines, storage and much more. Only then does the light go on. At the moment, about three quarters of Germany's electricity is produced using non-renewable sources. Conventional electricity production also tends to be quite uniform. Wind, solar and hydropower feed in different amounts of electricity to the grid over the course of a day. For energy transition to succeed, we need a flexible system. Instead of a few power plants, there'll be many more electricity producers, and these will be at their natural locations. This will only be possible with the support of local people, for example along the power lines, since the electricity has to be transported to the consumers. In this respect, we're still living in the 70s. A modern infrastructure has been created for the internet, for example, but for electricity this has fallen by the wayside. Or do you still use a modem? We have to update many existing power plants anyway. The additional costs for energy transition are therefore low. Germany is among the European countries that have above average CO2 emissions. We import a lot of products from abroad, but not their emissions. With the expansion of renewable energies, Germany is moving towards meeting its global responsibility. We have the know-how and the opportunities to take energy transition forward. We can develop the necessary technologies, use them ourselves, and make them available for others. Let's not lose sight of the goal. This marathon is a big challenge for all of us. But we can do it because it's worth it. And the Erko Institute will continue to be part of it.